Dear students, we will continue our discussion on food fermentations. Today we will discuss about yogurt. Yogurt is a fermented milk product that contains the characteristic bacterial cultures Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus in a ratio of 1 is to 1. Yogurt may be either pasteurized to improve the storage life or it may remain live having probiotic qualities. Generally, yogurt is flavored with fruits. According to the fat content, it is classified into three. Full fat yogurt which contain not less than 3.25% milk fat. Low fat yogurt contains not more than 2% milk fat and non-fat yogurt which contains less than 0.5% milk. Coming to the ingredients of yogurt, the main ingredient in yogurt is milk. The type of milk used depends on the type of yogurt. For full fat yogurt, whole milk is used. For low fat yogurt, low fat milk is used and skim milk is used for the preparation of non-fat yogurt. The next ingredient is the bacterial culture. Two cultures, two bacteria are added, Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus. Stabilizers such as alginates, gelatin, gums, pectins, starch etc. may also be added in yogurt to improve the body and texture by increasing firmness, by preventing the separation of the whey from the curd and also by helping to keep the fruit uniformly mixed in the yogurt. Sweeteners, flavors and fruit preparations are also added in yogurt depending upon the type. The bacterial cultures which are used as a starter culture in yogurt production are Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus. The function of the starter culture is to ferment lactose, the milk sugar, to produce lactic acid. The increase in the concentration of lactic acid will decrease the pH and causes the milk to form cloth to form the soft gel that is characteristic of yogurt. The fermentation of lactose also produces the flavor compounds that are characteristic of yogurt. Streptococcus thermophilus produces mainly acid from lactose in the milk causing the pH to drop to about 4 to 5 from about 7. This drop in pH causes the milk to coagulate. Lactic acid gives yogurt its sour taste and it also limits the growth of spoilage bacteria. Lactobacillus bulgaricus it generates more organoleptic compounds, particularly acetaldehyde, providing the particular flavor to the yogurt. The proteolytic enzymes and extracellular polymers from Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus growth also aids in the protein gel formation. Generally, Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus are the only two bacterial cultures required to be present in yogurt. But sometimes other bacterial cultures such as Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus subspecies cassie and bifidobacteria may be added to yogurt as a probiotic culture. This is done for improving the lactose digestion, to improve the gastrointestinal function and also to stimulate the immune system. Coming to the steps in yogurt making, there are generally nine steps involved. First is adjusting the milk composition and blending of ingredients. Second step is pasteurization of the milk. Third step is homogenization. Fourth step is cooling of the milk. And after cooling the milk, the starter culture will be inoculated. 
it will be held for a period of time then it will be cooled down the flavors and fruits will be added and finally the preparation will be packaged coming to the first step adjust milk composition and blend ingredients milk composition may be adjusted by adding dry milk powder to achieve the desired fat and solid content ingredients such as stabilizers are also added during this step the second step is pasteurization of the mix the milk mixture the milk mixture is pasteurized at 85 degrees celsius for 30 minutes or at 95 degrees celsius for 10 minutes this high heat treatment is used used to denature the whey proteins this treatment allows the proteins to form a more stable gel and also prevents the separation of water or whey during storage from the curd the high treatment high heat treatment also reduces the number of spoilage organisms in the milk the third step is homogenization the blend the milk and all the added ingredients are homogenized to mix all ingredients thoroughly and this helped improve the yogurt consistency the next step is cooling of the milk here the milk is cooled to 42 degrees celsius which is the ideal growth temperature for the starter culture lactobacillus bulgaricus and streptococcus thermophilus now the starter cultures are inoculated the starter cultures lactobacillus bulgaricus and streptococcus thermophilus are added to the milk mixture after inoculation the milk is held at 42 degrees celsius until a ph of 4.5 is reached fermentation results in the formation of a soft gel and there will be the development of the characteristic flavor of yogurt during this time the fermentation takes place and this process takes several hours the next step is the cooling step where the yogurt is cooled to 7 degrees celsius to stop the fermentation process in the next step the fruits and flavors are added they may be added at different steps depending on the type of yogurt for set style yogurt the fruit is added in the bottom of the cup and then the inoculated yogurt is poured on top of this fruit and then the yogurt is fermented in the cup for swiss style yogurt the fruit is blended with the fermented cooled yogurt prior to packaging the last step in yogurt production is packaging where the yogurt is packaged in specific packets according to company specifications yogurt possesses several health benefits yogurt has been consumed by human beings for about hundreds of years it is highly nutritious it contains high levels of calcium vitamin b12 vitamin d phosphorus magnesium potassium etc it is a rich source of protein yogurt also contains probiotics that benefit our digestive health and immune system these are the references thank you so much for listening